record this. There we go. Share my screen. All right, cool. So let's see. We are on a call going over Forex GPT as well as the news rampager. Appreciate anybody who's watching in the future tapping in. We got Jeffrey, the artist, and Ontarion, the PAM manager, master of indicators and automated income. So I created yes, an indicator called Forex GPT. Forex GPT stands for Greater Precision Trading, right? So I have over, I would say over the past, well, actually over the past year, I've been whittling down my own stop losses to increase my risk to reward because risk to reward means more profits. You can risk less and gain more right so what forex gpt does is identify a price action setup that i have been using for over a year to basically catch these setups All right so it works specifically on currency pairs which is why it's called forex gpt uh, it does not work on indices doesn't work on gold okay so forex gpt I'm also going to be demonstrating this second indicator, which I call Neo Hyena Vision, right? So Neo Hyena Vision is identifying liquidity zones, right? So these blue lines, well, well, maroon lines, blue lines and black lines, these are areas of liquidity within the market, right? As you can see here, right at New York Open, well, not New York Open, it was about 10 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time, which is a high impact news area came out zap down we got the forex gpt called out the entry which this is actually the perfect textbook entry that i teach about you have the forex gpt gave you the print we know it's a bullish setup because these lines are blue suggested entry lines are blue the suggested stop loss area down here is red and it's at the bottom of the range right the entries of course you can see that it is going to detect the price action setup no matter where in the range that it is, right? But you should be focused only on the buy setups that appear at the bottom of the range and sell setups that appear at the top of the range, okay? So this is valid here. And what you need is about a 10 to 20 pip push. Cool, cool, 20 pip. So this one actually ran three pips from here, right, from the time that it printed, and then you wait for the pullback to hop in that trade. So we can do the measurement right here. Make sure this is on short, long, okay, we're on long. And just be realistic, right? Catch it from the first suggested entry line. It's a little wider stop than I normally like to have. I teach my students that a 10 pip stop is really what you want to have on these setups, the suggested take profit right there. So you have a one to 4.3.4 with the suggested stop and the highest suggested entry and the suggested TP line, right? And this is all based off of recent price action. The stop loss is based on the bottom of the order block. The take profit is based on the high or the low of the past 60 candles, right? As this is a day trading tool, right? You shouldn't aim to catch infinity pips on every single move, right? Although you could, right? You know, you could take partials at whatever the suggested level is, the suggested take profit is, and, you know, and just leave a runner. And of course, this did run about 200 pips before that sell-off based on the Japanese yen intervention, right? So maximum of uh, Risk to reward on this setup was 11, 1 to 11.84, right? So these setups, they occur day in, day out, across every currency pair. But again, your job is to filter, currently filter out the negative setups, right? The next update that will be coming will be filtering out setups that don't present the necessary criteria. Meaning if a setup prints, it doesn't move 20 pips, it's not going to give you a setup, right? So here you see we had a setup, the sell setup, 
And this would be really the only valid one that's in this range because it's a cell set up at the top of a range, right? And what is this? A nice little 50 pip move. Short. And although this one wouldn't have activated because it never came back to that suggested entry, you know, if you were a little brave, you know, you could have popped that entry for a 10 pip stop loss there, an entry at for a five, one to 5.7, you know, pretty good RR. And so I couple this, right, with Neo Hyena Vision right, for more confluence. So what I like to see, like this is nice, didn't work out, but for instance, you see how this liquidity line right here is inside of the Forex GPT cell entry? That's what I would classify as a high probability setup, although it didn't work, I would have definitely taken this shot, right? Definitely taken that shot. Here we have another perfect, this one actually did activate to the, almost to the T. At the top of the range, you wouldn't have had that much time to get in. But also I include education with this indicator because indicators are not the end all be all, right? I know that people love easy buttons. I know that, I know that. But education, right, is really what generates the profits like the sustainable, consistent profits. You have to be able to trade if you really want to make money, all right? So here we have, this ran 10 pips from the suggested entry. Oh, 15, almost 10, almost 20 pips from the suggested entry, pulled back into the entry zone, right? The suggested entry, this was a crazy, a crazy play right here. Super tight stop, 5.3 pips, and the suggested TP. You all you always know where the TP is because it'll it will line up with the the entry, right? So this is the the cell entry, the TP, the suggested TP is down here. We drag this down, see for a one to twenty four that you know it hit. So these. These setups, they are really specifically designed to be taken around high impact news, okay? So high impact news is truly what moves the market. We know that that injects the volatility that we are looking to capitalize on, right? So with that being said, I've used this to become funded. I got people in my community who are funded uh, from using this specifically, this understanding of the market. And when you get Forex GPT, you're also going to get a four week training that I will basically mind meld what I know about the market based on fundamentals, based on price action, on how to achieve the best results with this tool. OK, so that is Forex GPT. And now we're going to quickly go over the news rampager. So let me switch over my shares. Give me one second for MT5 to boot up. Okay. Okay, cool. So this, let me make sure you can see my screen first. You can see my screen? Yes, sir. All right, cool. All right, so this is, of course, the strategy tester. Um, for those that don't know what goes into the creation of EAs, bot developers, EA developers, well, if they are good, if they're worth their metal, they're going to go through something called strategy optimization, right? So that means using machine learning to test all of the different potential settings that the bot could have in order to be a profitable trading system. Now, what makes the news rampager different from every other system that's out there is that this system connects directly to various news sources using the API, meaning it communicates based on the internet, an internet connection, so almost zero latency. 
right? So we have an API refresh every single minute. It's refreshing its connection to these news sources, right? What news sources? Let me show you, go under the hood even further. So the first one is my developer's website, Machine Learning. This is a this is a website that allows it to go back through the history of the pair based on what has happened in the past to make to make intelligent decisions based on the price action that has actually occurred. Okay. Next, it it connects directly to OpenAI, which if anyone is not familiar, that's ChatGPT, right? So it's use it's utilizing AI you know, in real time to make educated decisions based on the actual price action of whatever asset is being traded, okay? So next, I'm sure, you know, if you've been in the Forex communities in, at any point, most of your mentors are probably tell you to avoid the news, you know? The news is, it can do anything to the market, which, you know, is true in a sense, but if you understand, if you have taken the time to understand the news and fundamental data and how it affects the market, you would see that there is rhyme and reason to the results, okay? So here we have, let me actually, I've been testing a lot of stuff. So News Rampager, GBP USD. The reason uh, I'm, I'm choosing this event, unemployment claims, is because it is a weekly recurring event, okay? So every week, there are results based on this event. And to capitalize off those events, I have machine tested uh, these, these results, right? So ran about 700 hours of test. Let me see, GBP, USD. Profit. You just go to the highest profit one because, of course, everybody wants to just make profit, right? So we can see that it has all different amounts of profit, all different amounts of drawdown, right? And these are all adjustable. So all of these settings, anybody can use them. They can adjust them for their risk appetite. Uh, it can run without any type of intervention because, again, it is fully automated. It connects directly to the API of the new site, so you don't have to manage it. You don't have to worry about what it's doing. I'm going to run a test right here in front of you based off of the highest profit result. So the graph as it's running. Hold on. Let me see. GBP USD inputs. News back tester v2. Ah, uh, got to change the advisor to the news rampager. All right, GBP USD. And are we load the settings? Here we go. Load settings. Base. BP USD unemployment claims. Okay, cool. So we're going to run the test now. This should work. Visual mode. So what this does is basically back test in real time to show you what is going on uh, on the charts as these trades are actually running. Bum, bum, bum. But one second. Well, it's already up 10%, but I'm pretty sure this is not the setting that I was trying to run because it is going into news rampage mode, which means it does not care um, what, what's going on on the chart. It will trade in the direction of the fundamental outcome. So let's see, 14 trades. Why aren't you running a single test?
one foot. Okay, flip mode, that's it. Okay, so this is these are the settings. See, I've been doing a lot of testing, kind of get lost in the sauce sometimes. Make sure this is the one. Because it should be only taking one trade at a time. And this is like a soup, like this is literally risking 10% per trade, right? But once the back test finished running, I'll show you why that is, right? And why we would, I mean, it's already up 80%, 7, 75% on the account, starting with the $10,000 account balance, 70%. 90%. All right. So the test is done. Of course, that was super fast. 28 trades total. It trades once a week on Thursday with these settings, right? It's trading unemployment claims specifically. Okay. So now let me show you the back test of what that, like what actually happened on the charts over the course of, let me see, this was from June 13th of this year to basically almost current day. So September 25th. Okay. So over the back test, you can see we started with $10,000, uh, June, basically, basically June 13th, right. Over the course of those three months, it took 14 trades, right. 14 trades total out of those 14 trades, the 10 short trades, it won 90% of them. And the uh, four long trades, it won 75% of them, all right? Based on the historical data, we can expect to only experience one loss in a row and then an average of four winning trades, okay? These are running, again, like I said, on a 10%, 10% per trade settings. And of course, you know, I'm I'm completely fine with that. Like that's, I don't know. I'm, I'm not worried about the 10%. Uh, that can be changed, right? With every trade, right? We have the risk, risk per trade. So whatever the client's risk appetite is, I know you said a lot of clients, you uh, they want to trade on prop firms, right? So Correct. we can cut that down to, that would be 1% risk right there. And okay. let me see, got to cut the TP down to 1%. Okay. okay. And let me just rerun a, rerun this to see what this is looking like on the 1% risk, on the 1% risk. And of course, I mean, the the accuracy isn't going to change um, because it is already, this is like a back test, you know? So the accuracy wouldn't change based on uh, anything that we changed. Um, just the profit output at the end of the day would be changing, right? So if somebody w like really just risked 1% per trade in about three months or so, which I know is a lot slower than all these high frequency bots or whatever. But the difference is that even if you use this bot, you could still plug it up to your live prop account. You know, it's not like, oh, you can't use it on a on a prop account. Like that's not what this is about. This is about slow, steady, consistent gains with calculated risk. And as you can see in the back test, we have a very smooth equity curve that just keeps on stepping up. Um, the actual back test I mean, you know, 1% drawdown, right? 1% drawdown and it gains 7% over three months, which again, I know, slow money. But if you wanted to turn that risk up, you could still do that because our bot is still testing it over, you know, we can say that it's 85% accurate, right? Based on the shorts and the longs that it's won. So with that being said, that is... 
pretty much my spiel uh, about this prop uh, firm assistant, right? This trading tool and assistant outside of the events that, you know, I personally worked on, you, you can literally have it set to trade any event, right? It does not come out of the box ready to trade every event. You, you must, you must use the strategy tester before you just plug in an event, all right? We are going to like, as a unit, my team will be supplying you know, extra settings as we develop them. But right now, my specific goal is to work on the event that occurs the most often, which is unemployment claims. Okay. So with that event, uh, it opens us up to be able to trade any of the seven majors and, uh, you know, any USD pair, because that's the pair that it mainly affects. All right. So let me see. I think I covered everything. Um, of course, when you get access, you'll get uh, access to one account, you have to enter your email address, it'll be locked to one account, one account um, number, and it does have a magic number. I know that prop firms, like it's, you know, gets kind of sketchy if they don't want you to copy trades, but that's why we have a magic number. So everything is specific to the user. All right. And yeah, that's it. So with that being said, do you have any questions about it? Any concerns? Man, let me tell you what, Jeffrey, I'm salivating. I'm salivating, man, like it's this big old steak in front of me right now. <laughs> man, yeah. man, look, man, that's that's rewinded back to uh to the indicator, man, before we before we talk about this one, man. Okay, I got you. Let uh, me go, let that, me uh pull up yeah, the, uh, pull this up. Because I you. I always encourage people firsthand to actually trade okay mm -hmm. now granted you know 90 percent of people i deal with probably 90 the high 90s 95 97 percent want automation but i do encourage <clears throat> manual trading and this too because i love indicators you know we've been we, we talked mm -hmm. previous to this and i'm an indicators trader man and uh when i can have you know confluence like this man and this thing tells you a suggested entry, that's that's a game changer. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we have members crushing it. Um, very close to passing their funders, people who are passed, who are completely funded. You know, it it works at the end of the day, but you have to follow the rules, which is most important. And again, right. you know, those rules, you look for sells and the, at the top of the range, you look for buys at the bottom of the range. You want to see a push away from the setup, like this is really juicy. Of course, it didn't activate because fundamentals did not align. Fundamentals okay. didn't align um, with this, but this was a nice setup. This was a beautiful setup. Fundamentals did align and that thing came crashing down. I mean, it's still going. We uh, Man. See, Let's look at this. Beautiful. I mean, one to 39. That's ridiculous. Right. Like, and I teach how to do this. But again, the, the goal isn't to create traders who are, um, you know, using this indicator as a crutch, right? Like I tell my community, you know, they ask me like, what do you see on Forex GPT? And I'll be honest, I don't need Forex GPT. I am Forex GPT. Yes, right? sir. And that's, that's the goal of my community, right? So anybody that signs on, you have access to my community, have access to ask me questions about this and access to education, most importantly, right? right. right? Because I'm, I'm here to crank out consistently profitable, self-sustained traders, right? Yes, These, you got to consider this like a training wheels on, on a bike, right? Nobody wants right. to be rolling around with training wheels all, all day, right? Exactly. You want to be able to uh, roll on two wheels. So that's what it's about. You can look at the indicator. It's a price action setup, again, that it's looking for. This price action setup, I've tested it far beyond a thousand times, Right. Based on machine learning, I've seen how many times this indic how many times this price action setup works, and it works. That's why I have created this indicator for it. That's why people are busting the market with it because it works. Man. So basically, in a nutshell, with this, we're waiting. So once we get a, a a dotted blue line or a dotted red line, we're waiting for price to come there 
to come back to uh, to hit that at least twice or close in that range before we enter. Yep, exactly. So, I mean, even this one right here, it wasn't this, like when you learn about the market like this, it gets really you you really see how sneaky the market is. Right. Yes, sir. Like at the end of the like at the end of sessions, that's sometimes where the best entries are. Like this right here, this activated uh -huh. right at the end of this session or right at the beginning of Asian session. And I mean, nobody would have been able to get in the, into this on the optimal entry line simply because, you know, spreads. Spreads would not have let you get in with this. Yeah. Oh, my God. Two pip stop loss. Yeah. They would have never let you get on get in on, at the end of this session. The one to fifty five. Yeah. You, your entry would have been like up here. Yeah, man. That's 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 amazing. That's yeah, amazing. absolutely. Wow. And so again, this works on all uh, twenty eight major, major and minor pairs. So anything under the sun, I got people just scanning the market like this. Like this is literally what we do during during my community's hours. We just okay, where are the valid setups? Mm -hmm. Like oh, I mean, like boom, like it doesn't take long to see the valid setups or if a setup is valid, right? Like it cuts down on the amount of time that I'm like, like this, like just, you can just, all right, no, not valid, potentially valid. Oh no, it's already activated, gone. Okay, we got to set up here. Like you can see how quickly you can identify potential setups. Yes, sir. All right, so let's short, just look at this, see up here. Nine pip stop loss. I mean, all the way down there. One to 15, you know? Mm. Oh, that's the NDC. <clears throat> so the and that and and the stop loss, man, having a tight stop loss is, is crucial as well. Man, that's beautiful that that the stop loss is right there, you know, for people to Yeah. It's like tap really, into. you wanna I mean, you could you could pass your challenge with two correct setups, right? Mm -hmm. Pass any funded challenge with two correct setups because the average risk to reward that I've seen on correct setups is one to six, right? So mm -hmm. you only need 10% to pass most funded challenges, right? You right. just sit, wait patiently for the juicy setups. I know it's hard for traders to be patient, I know that. That's why so many are not successful, but right. that's what it takes. You got to wait for that crispy, crisp, all like this. Crispy, crispy setup. I mean, even though it didn't activate, didn't activate when it was supposed to, you just wait for setups that look like that, right? And just rinse and repeat or setups that look like that, right? And this one hit, but this is like a one to five right here. This little itty bitty setup. Yes, sir. Now, when you say activate, what do you mean on that? Okay, so once a setup has printed, so let me say like this. Okay, so you see that this is a, a valid setup, right? So it printed at the bottom of a range, right? Uh -huh. We got the push away, a huge push. Good gracious, this push. 70 pips away from it. Right. So once that happens, we just set a limit or we monitor, set an alert, you know, when the when price comes back into it and you just wait for it to wait for it to come. So you can do like a buy limit or sell limit or yep. something like or that. Or you can do a manual entry, whatever you want to do. But it's just a matter of waiting, right? And holding that stop loss. Hmm. It came down in that area too. Yep, but didn't tap in. We 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 wait. We don't want we don't want the the markets to not come to the to the suggested entry because again that decreases the risk to reward. Right. Right. You really want them tight stops. You know, I've designed this for a reason. You can trust in my research. Right. I mean, you can see how, literally, almost to the pip, this thing came. Right. Look at that. Ooh, TP, right? One to five. Just like that, you're halfway done with the challenge. Look at that. That's crazy, man. Right. Right. So, you know, anybody that wants this tool, 
it's available. Uh, we have multiple, multiple options. You know, if you're the type to just want the indicator, because some people want just the indicator, which I do not suggest literally, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a man for the people. If people want to bu just buy the indicator, uh, you know, then they can do that. If they want the education plus the community plus the indicator, that's a separate fee. And then we have tiers even higher than that, um, which, you know, we can discuss. I don't even talk about that until people go through the basic education. That's like a qualifying process. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. Hold on. Just I had to bring my dog in real quick. She, you good. You're rain, fine. She, she, she hates to rain. So she was like, <laughs> right at the door. Mm. Yeah. Uh, well, man, <clears throat> I'm, like I say, I'm excited about all this. Um, and I'm, like I say, um, I like that you, you said the first, the first parameter is, is the education. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool. Cool. Cause that's very important, man. Like I say, I stress that all the time. Absolutely. Cause there, I mean, I hate these, this MLM motto of earn and learn. Like there is no earning without learning. That's it right. doesn't happen. So I don't, I don't say that. I don't subscribe to that. You gotta, you gotta learn before you earn. Right. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So do you have any other questions about either of the systems that you saw? Um, uh, any concerns? So on the uh, on the uh, what you, the the in, not the indicator, but the uh, the, the EA. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, and I think you did answer my question because the, the prop firms. You know, and I'm pushing. I'm pushing prop firms on my channel too. Right, uh, right. People come to me. I say, you know, prop firm, prop firms. You know, all day for leverage. Right, definitely but, that. But can a person start with? Uh, can a person start with you know their own money, like a thousand or something like that? Mm -hmm. if they want to that. Absolutely. Um, just like we, I said earlier on the call. You can start with any amount. Like we have people testing $50 accounts within our community, within our dev team, because, you know, everybody has a different financial situation and we want to make it a universal tool to grow in compound accounts, right? So as long as you strategy test it, again, like that's key, which we teach in the community, right? We teach how to strategy test, how to formulate your own profitable settings, which we want everybody to do, right? Because we know prop firms, if they see a bunch of people, guess what's going to happen? Oh, yeah. It's going to, hey, it's going to, it's right, going to so, motivate, encourage them, keep them focused. Yeah, exactly. So we are working again to make self-sustained traders at all points. All right. So we teach not only how to use the indicator, right? How to action, how to trade based off of fundamentals and price action. We teach you how to create your own profitable settings for the EA that are unique to you. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. That's beautiful. And then there's no copy trading because of that magic number. Exactly. So you, we have two, um, I guess, kind of risk protocols so just in case you know anybody's looking at the prop firm and they're the magic number and then you can create your own profitable settings that are unique to you and we show you how to do that within the, like 48 hours that's how long it takes to create profitable settings okay beautiful beautiful um and I, I'm just trying to ask questions that that my my people going going to ask me, you know. Absolutely. And I appreciate uh, those are the main ones, uh, you know, when it comes to the props. I mean, to the automation. Uh, that back test is huge, man. I mean, that's your that's your two. That's that right there. That's a game changer because that's that's going to simplify people's decision right there. Oh, this thing is this thing is crazy good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, there's you know? not many traders who hit. 85% of their trades. So. Right. Right. 
Beautiful, man. So I appreciate you, sir. Um, um, could you let let people know what like kind of the cost of, of everything? Absolutely. And absolutely. So the bare bones cost of the indicator, the both the indicators that you saw, you know, again, no education, which I don't understand why anybody would want that. That is a two hundred and fifty dollar one time fee for Forex GPT and Neo Hyena Vision. All right. Which okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Two hundred and fifty dollars, man. That's it. Two hundred and fifty dollars. You think I should up it? This this is a gem, so, bro. <laughs> I, I was waiting. I was waiting for a thousand. Oh well, Seriously. I mean, you know, you you they don't tap in soon. It when that update comes, my boy. Trust and believe. Trust and man, believe. And look, this right here is already uh, man. Look. So it's run it by me again. Okay. The indicator, the indicator. So let me show you 4X GPT plus Neo uh -huh. Hyena Vision, lifetime access, no education, no community, $250 one time fee. Okay. So the, the Neo, the, the, the hyena is the. the let me VA. show you. So the, the, the liquidity, uh, all these little lines, this green. Uh, it's not, these aren't boilings or bands. All right. This is a different uh -huh. type of, uh, indicator that, you know, I can't, I can't give out all the sauce. Right. But it's, it's something different. And we get into that in the education of how you can determine on a day trading basis where the market's going. Beautiful. Right? Absolutely. And then the second one, again, Forex GPT, right. Which is Forex greater precision trading, which allows you to catch the high risk to reward setups that you frequently see me catching on my timeline, as well as my students, as well as you saw right here. Right. So that and Forex GPT plus Neo Hyena Vision plus community access and education. That's a one time five hundred dollar fee. OK, so next we have the news rampager. Right. Right now, this bad boy is a one thousand dollar one time fee. OK, which that will absolutely be going up as we show our dominant uh yeah, our dominance in this EA market is we unleash this fundamental AI on the people. Nice, nice. Okay, so let me run it back. 254. Um One second. two indicators. Yep, 250 for the indicators. The the AI of the um the bot a thousand one time. Correct. And five hundred for the community. Community access education indicators that. So if everybody wants the full if there anybody wants the full package, fifteen hundred. Pretty much. And then of okay. course we do have affiliate affiliate offers for all of that. So you know, we break our community off very well for anybody we believe in builders, right? A hundred percent. Yes, sir. 100%. Yes, sir. Absolutely, man. Well, Jeffrey, this has been, I'm telling you, uh, 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 as, soon as, as soon as this video goes up, sir, I know my, I know my phone is about to, about to, about to get hot. <laughs> Understood. Understood. So, yeah, we tap in, man. I'll send you the recording as soon as it's finished. And I appreciate okay. the time again, man. Let's let's run. Let's hit the people with something that they can use. Let's rock this thing out, brother, for sure. Absolutely. I appreciate you, Ontario, man. It's been a long time coming. I'll talk to you All soon, right. King. All right. Take care now. Peace and love. Take care. Yes, sir.